امتي ويوم بيساني ولهذا اخا بعد هجره رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بين اصحابه فجعل لكل ما اجرى من الانصار وتواصلوا وتعابوا والتعدوا في زاد دين الله والا يكرمتي فاورثوا من الله مشارك الان لو بقى ربا ومن تعالى لهم في دار السعاده خير ما بقى وقد جعل رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم هذه المابتة وهذا الإيلاثة من علامات الإيمان وقال لا يؤمن أهلكم حتى يبلى ما يبلى لنفسي هل منا من أهلته الدولة هي هل منا من أحب لأخي ما يبلى لنفسي هل منا من مد لأخي إلى المؤونة إن رأى ذلك تريك هل مؤونة هل منا من أجبك على أخي ولا ساه وكهو مؤونة إلى ذلك ذلك غير وضلال لم يكن شيء من ذلك بل اتخذ ذلك كرينا والحسن سميرا ولم نؤمن على عمل خيري ولم نساعد في شيء من أعمال البر واتبعنا الشيطان فكان الشيطان ربي كفورا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته زكاة الفطر زكاة نقول إن ترك يوتم قبل قمس دع الفاشا جنسا كافي عزمي جاء تركي قبل الفاشا لو نقمسي ين لازم نقولوا باين سلا وننكا من سلكا هنا تشكين سلكوكي من دون الله يشي وانده في الذكرنا قافي سلا وانه يلمو كمن زكاني ابي دع الله يعمسا وانده في الشي باين سلا وانه يلمو سلكا تشكين سلكوكي عباد الله وانه جاب لها تشكين القرآن مزمه لها لا يسهر قوم من قوم أسي أن يكونوا خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء أسي أن يكون خيرا منهم ولا تلمزوا أنفسكم ولا تنابذوا بلا لقاب بيس الاسم الفسوق بعد إيمان ومن لم يتوف أولئك بالظالمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الزن إن بعد الزن اسم ولا تجسسوا ولا يكتب بعلكم بعلا أي يحب بعلكم أن يأكل لا معي ميتة فقريتم واتقوا الله إن الله شواب الرئيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم إن الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم وأبر ألا يا قدى من وجودك أعجب لهوا يا مجلس من ينقبلوا لك لا ننقبلوا وبعد من مزوم ياكي بها لتعارفوا لتتعارفوا دوي مسان جوناني متيبه جونا بعد من ياكي بها تبال شيء مجدور هو الله وانده في كلمة أولا الله دوني على الله وانده في كيا يو كيا يو ومنو وبكي إن الله عليم وخبير الله مجعل بلر ناقانا بلر عامنا مطمئنا وسائر البلدان وعامنا في أوطاننا ولا تفتنا اللهم ارفع مغتك وغلبك عنا ولا تواخذنا ما فعل السفعة منا وختم الجلاء بوصينا خاتمة الناجين والراجين الذين قيل لهم قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أمسي لا تغلطون رحمة الله اللهم أعوذ الرئيس الجمهور يتقنا لنا أخبره والنائب هو على جمع مرباوية بسر لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته حاجة متسجعة من حاجة الله وتلك الأمثال ونذربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون والله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة والرحمن الرحيم والله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن والمهامن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون والله الخالق البار المستفر له الأسماء الحسنى سبحانه له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم وكل عام وأنتم بخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله إمام هدى لولا ما عرف الهدى إمام هدى لولا ما عرف الهدى الدعوة وراء ذلك لبلغ المنى فردوه بالعلم عن سبل الردى فردوه بالعلم 
We beg you. We beg you in the name of Allah. Get seated. Don Allah jama ko waye samuri ya zauna saboda Allah an kace da annabi in an ce Allah annabi ashe ba wani abu da kuma zaka saurare don Allah don annabi ko waye budurin zama ko waye budurin zama eh yanzu za mu ciga Sheikh Armiyaw Shabu je translation khutuban da malam yayi eh is eh Sheikh Armiyaw Shabu is going to translate the sermon of the National Chief Human to the congregants. I'll call on Sheikh Armiyaw Shabu. Please, you can. Your Excellency, the Vice President. All protocols observed. The following is the English rendition of the Eid al-Fitr khutbah that was just delivered by the eminent national chief imam. We say in glorification of Allah and magnifying him, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allah is most great, 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 praises and thanks belong to him in abundance, Glorified is he both in morning and in the evening, as long as the sun of happiness shines in its full glow and resplendence. And as long as we have also completed the month of Ramadan, and as we speak now, the delegation of Allah who will be performing the Hajj and Umrah are all now getting prepared to undertake this very important assignment. And today, all Muslims across the world are cladded or have adorned the best of their clothing so that they will make manifest the beauty of the grace which Allah has made available to them. On this day, even the tender now sounds in glorification of Allah and then the angels also sing the glorification of Allah because of his awe. Glory be to Allah, the one who is the creator of all creations and on him belong the overwhelming power. Glory be to him, the one who has made it prohibited today for us to fast and has made eating today to be permis per permitted. Glory be to him above all the attributes that they associate with him. Peace be upon all the messengers of Allah and thanks and praises be to Allah, the Lord and cherisher of the whole of the universe. Thanks be to Allah the one who has united the hearts of all his servants who are believers across the world and has raised the standard and the rankings of all who have undertaken good deeds of their lives and doing so on the basis of their sincerity and feeling happy that Allah has done that to us. I bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship as Allah alone. This kind of testimony of the one who is certain about the lordship and, uh, and the godship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his unity as we do so hoping that the, the the compassion of Allah will engulf all of us and Allah will also protect us from the hellfire and I bear witness that our leader Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is the guide of all creations who teaches us on the foundation of truth and guide us to the path of felicity and happiness I ask Allah to bestow his peace and blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household and companions and all those who follow him on the path of righteousness till the day of judgment. These are his companions who all together worked now to support his cause on the basis of their righteousness and the fear of Allah. These are those whom Allah has guided and these are those who are the men of understanding. Allah has said in the Holy Quran, hold fast onto the rope of Allah together and be not divided. And remember the grace of Allah upon all of you on this day when at a time when you were enemies unto yourselves and by his grace he brought he brought your hearts together and you united he united you and you became by his grace brothers and sisters in Islam and in humanity admonition the chief imam now goes ahead O oh, you servant of Allah it is the happiness of the ummah 
and it's the basis of their advancement and progress that Allah unites the, their hearts and today they meet to give glory to Allah together and then they also now give support to, to each other in doing everything that is constructive that becomes a benefit to human society and the warding off of everything that is evil as a lesson that we have derived during the month of Ramadan. Doing so means that we are purifying our hearts from the filth, from the filth of envy and covetousness and the filth of animosity so that by doing so we become people who are like one body even though we see ourselves as distant but in our body we are just close to each other. Allah has, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has told us that the similitude of the believers in the way that they love themselves, in the way that they are considerate upon themselves, in the way that they have compassion upon each other, they represent one body. When any one part of the body ills, ills or falls into pain, all the other bad parts of the body also respond with feverish condition and sleeplessness. This is what the companions did. And he calls on all the Muslims that as fathers, let's become fathers who are compa compassionate. Let's become children who are also righteous unto their, unto their fathers and, and parents. This is what will ensure that the compassion of Allah will engulf all of us and we shall all be part of the experience of God's goodness and kindness in our lives. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam succeeded in creating brotherhood between those who migrated from Mecca and went to Medina and those who were resident of Medina. And by that, they became, they became brothers. And so when they, when they did so, they were able to link up to each other. They loved each other. They became united. They raised the banner of Islam and the banner of the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by that, Allah granted them the success where they took over both, both the north and the south of the world. And whatever you have done in this world of righteousness, definitely it should be the basis of your happiness and, uh, and felicity on the day of judgment because your reward shall remain for eternity. It shall never end. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has made our relationship to be formed on the basis of sincere, sincere love. And sincere love is a sign that manifests our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet has told us, La yumin ahadukum hatta yuhibba li ma yuhibba nafsi. None of you shall have perfect faith except the one who loves for his brother that which he loves for himself. Now the question arises rhetorically. Is there any one of us who is sincere in his love? Is there any one of us here who loves his brother for what, uh, that which he loves for himself? Is there any one of us who stretches his hand of support to the one who needs the help and to be guided on the right path? Is there any one of us here who will be compassionate on his brother and show him sincere counsel in his life so that he will guide him aright? Is there any one of us who is doing this? If this is not there, if this does not happen, then a big contradiction happens in our claim to religiosity. Therefore, let's all hold on to Allah and avoid animosity, avoid hatred, and avoid envy and covetousness so that covetousness should not be a friend of, uh, of us in the night. And therefore, I'm calling on all of you, let's support each other on the foundation of that, things that are good, avoid everything that is evil as we get goaded to, to do that by the Satan, because Satan indeed has manifested that he is ungrateful to his Lord. This is the rendition of the Chief Imam's khutbah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your Excellency, Chief Imam has given me this added as assignment. We know he said he's been told about your efforts to help us to um, bring some understanding between we Muslims who are celebrating today and a Christian com a section of Christian community that had rented this place um, for a long time unknown to them that we shall be celebrating today. Chief Imam said, I should thank you so much for that effort that you made. He said, I should also thank the president for the intervention that he's, he made. And also be, to be thankful to the leaders of that church. If they are here listening to us, this is, this is our gratitude coming from the eminent national chief imam 
we are, we are indebted to you by way of gratitude for your understanding to allow us to worship here today. We are hoping that if you are here, we will shake hands with you. Chief Man will be ready to shake hands with you. Deeper Life Church, we will mention you specifically. Deeper Life Church, your leadership, we want to put it on record that we are grateful to you for your understanding. Even the sound we are using today, look how, how generous, how generous you are to allow us to use your PA system. I am saying, speaking on behalf of the Chief Ma'am, we shall remain indebted to you by way of our gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this understanding. God bless you. We hope that as you, you close your ceremony, Chief Ma'am will give us the permission to come and represent him and render similar, similar thanks to you. Thank you, thank you, the whole of the leadership of the Christian community in Ghana. God bless you and God bless our homeland, Ghana. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, Sheikh, Sheikh Karamiao, we thank you for the translation of the sermon. Uh, brothers and sisters, I'm happy to inform you that His Excellency, the Vice President, is here today to represent the President who is out of Accra. He's our own brother. And uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, Sheikh Armia was mentioned one part of it just now. That all that you see here, all these beautiful canopies have been provided by His Excellency the Vice President. He's been doing this for seven years now. We have nothing to offer him except pray that Allah Almighty to grant him all his heart's heart desires and be successful in life and also God to provide him long life and prosperity. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Uh, now we call upon uh, the chairman of the Aid Planning Committee to come and give the welcome address. Alhaji Allah Sansule, you are welcome. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Before I begin, I would like to add a word of thankfulness to the Deeper Life Church for cooperating immensely with us in uh, making available some of the equipments for us to use. In fact, some of us were here and the men were here to help us close to midnight. We thank you very much. We'll continue to be together. Um, welcome address to His Excellency, the Vice President, on the occasion of the Eid of Fitri 2023, 1,444 after Hijra AH. I was billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. rahim In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Masha Allah, we have gathered here once again to observe Eid al-Fitri as the climax of the fulfillment of the third pillar of Islam, that is the fasting in the month of Ramadan. Your Excellency, our own Vice President, Dr. Al-Haji Mahmoud Baumia, members of the Council of State, Honorable Ministers of State, Honorable Members of Parliament, the Honorable Greater Accra Regional Minister, the Mayor of Accra, members of the Diplomatic Corps, our revered chiefs on the Council of Zongo Chiefs and the Gadangbe and the Inner City and other tribal chiefs, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. On behalf of our Grand Mufti and the National Chief Imam, and on behalf of our chiefs and other community leaders, I wish to say that it is a great privilege and a profound honor on my part to welcome our Vice President, the Vice President of our dear country, Ghana, once again to be part of this celebration. Barakamudasallah, 
Allah mai mai ta mana amin I hereby wish to convey on behalf of the national chief iman and our chiefs warm felicitations to all worshippers at this square as well as those at home throughout the country as we in ghana continue to live in peace amongst ourselves and we also are deepening our democracy year after year time is also fast approaching once again towards presidential and general elections in december 2024 now quite naturally it would come with great anxiety the momentum has in fact already begun gathering through intra-party contests for positions and parliamentary seats our national chief ma'am is therefore calling on all of us in ghana to remain calm and to avoid the use of intemperate language or actions that would jeopardize our existing peace in Ghana, as well as tarnish our reputation as the most peaceful country in the West African sub-region. Our national chief imam also wishes to remind all Ghanaians that the annual rainy season is perhaps just about to begin. It usually comes with heavy flooding in various parts of the country and to avoid fatal consequences we must all desist from depositing domestic waste into our drains to avoid choking now lastly we must all endeavor at all times to obey the rules and regulations of our metropolitan municipal and district assemblies wherever we find ourselves in the country in conclusion we pray that allah will continue to protect our nation and our leaders and usher our nation into better times ahead amin summa amin barakam de salla allah mai mai ta mana amin wassalam alaja allah sansule we thank you very much uh before I proceed, I would like to indulge your permission to share with the dignitaries who are with His, with His Excellency the Vice President. The first on the list is the second lady of the country in the person of Hajiya Samir Baumia. She's here with us. You are welcome. Uh, we have Honorable Mohammed Awad. Minister of Tourism. We have Honorable Hassan Tampuli, Deputy Minister of Transport. We have Sheikh T.B. Damba, former Ghana Ambassador to Saudi Arabia. We have Honorable Harry Koti, Greater Accra Regional Minister. We have Honorable Stephen Asamoah Boati, Minister for Chief Stancy and Religious Affairs. We have Honorable Amin Adam, Minister of State at the Ministry of Finance. We have Honorable Ben Abdallah Banda, Presidential Coordinator for the Zongo Development and Chairman of Hajj Board. We have Honorable, Al Honorable Salif Said, former Regional Minister of Northern Region. We have Ambassador Hassan of the Office of President. We have Abibat. Shani Mahama, CEO of Maslok. We have Honorable Ali Ufawaz, Deputy Chief of Staff of the present. We have Honorable Habib Said, former MP, English Amanfu. We have Alakaji Rim.